Look at that. Like a beach ball. Without the beach. Or the ball. The most common thing to shape your light are these dome style softboxes like the one I'm using right now. I've got the Aperture Light Dome Mini 2. I've also done a video showing the differences in the sizes of softbox and you can see that up here. But because these softboxes are quite directional, especially depending on the size, you only really get the light shining on whatever you're pointing it at. And this is great, but if you're going for something slightly different, then you might want to go for slightly... <laughs> You can often get shadows in certain areas of your frame and depending on what camera you've got and the dynamic range of that camera you can often get a lot of grain and noise in those shadowy areas and that's not great. So there is another type of softbox that you can get and that is the omnidirectional lantern style softbox and omnidirectional basically means all or every so it's shining light in every direction so it's going to fill those shadowy areas a little bit more like you see in the corners of the room and i'm going to show you some comparisons and some side by sides between the normal style softbox that i've been typically using in all of my videos and the lantern style softbox as well so you can see the difference and see which one suits your style the best now per gear have sent me one of these lantern style softboxes i've not even opened it yet i'm super excited to give it a go because i've seen them but i've never tried them so i'm i'm really looking forward to seeing what this what type of light this produces super excited so thanks per gear for that they've also sent me a stand to mount the light on awesome and also a mini pocket rgb light so thanks again, Pergy. What I really like about this little mini light though, actually, is the fact that it's not just got a battery display, it's got like a countdown display, so it tells you how long is left on the battery. That is a really beneficial feature because how many times do we turn the light on and we don't know how much charge we've got left? You don't know if you're gonna make it to the end of the video with the light. You might have seen it before in my videos, halfway through, the light will just switch off. So I love knowing how long exactly you've got left on the battery. Pergear are an online distributor for products such as Aperture, Godox, Zion, and loads more. And I'll leave a link to all the products and the Pergear store and the Pergear Amazon link down below. So go and check them out. As well, you'll find links to all the softboxes below. What is that? Oh, it's a bit of fluff. The fluff's back. Right then, let's have a look at the thing. I've not put any background lights on or anything on purpose because I'm going to do the side-by-side -side tests and show you the differences and I think it's good to just get an idea of what it's like just on its own without no other lighting. The only thing is, there's a bit of light coming through the curtain there, but it shouldn't matter too much because this, well we'll see what it's like. Right. So it's Bowen's mount, so we can just pop this straight onto our Godox SL150 Mark II or SL60 or whatever it is that you're using that's got a Bowen's mount adapter on the end. Right, first time out the bag. Right, so here's the lantern. Now I believe, what is this? Another little secret package here. world's smallest tripod. Look at that, per gear. Tell you what, let me see what this is. So it's a little bracket for the mini pocket light, but also it's got a tiny little tripod so you can mount that to your desk or wherever, put your light on top and you can angle it wherever you like. That is really cool, I've not seen that before. And I love these little tripods. This is one I got sent the other day. Look at the size of that. And they're great because I like putting things on it like my monitor or a microphone, something like that, when you need it a little bit closer to you. So thanks again. That's cool. I've never seen one that size. Okay, right. So I think what we do is undo that, put this in between. Oh, right. Ready? So all you do is squeeze. that and then it makes the lantern but I need to uh, clip it in so give me a sec. It's clever that is. There we go. <laughs> it's huge. 
I mean, it's really easy. All you do is, is push the little thing down, whatever it's called, and then you just clip it in at the bottom. I really like that. It's actually quicker. You know, on the Aperture softboxes, the Mark IIs, where you don't have to clip and unclip the rods each time, you just pull them out. This is actually quicker because you just push the whole thing in and clip it in at the bottom, so it's quicker. Look at that. It's like a beach ball without the beach or the ball. So this is the 65 centimeter version or the 25.5 inch, I think. 25.6 inch version. And it seems plenty big enough for me for my size room. Now it's meant to have a 360 degree beam angle, but I, I don't think it is that because it's got this black skirt around the back. So it can't distribute the light fully around the back, but it still does a little bit. But I looked on the Aperture website because they do a lantern like this and they're saying theirs is 270 degree beam angle. So it's probably something around that. Let me just get my light and we'll put it on so I can show you and then we'll do some comparisons. What's cool as well, again, comes with its own little case. It's not padded, it's just like a little thin material. It's not amazing, but better than nothing. So it's ideal for carrying the lantern in to pack it down. Absolutely fine, love, love it when things come with a case. There we are. Right, it's on. Ready. Wowie. Let me turn my main light off. So as you can see, I'm behind the lantern. And yes, it's lighting me up a little bit. I could turn it up to 100%. It's lighting up a little bit and it's nice and soft, but it's still not projecting on me fully. If I turn it round, you'll see the difference. So it's definitely not 360 degrees. Oh, I can't spin it round. It's nice and soft. It really is soft. Right, so I'm gonna go and set this up properly now and replace the Mini Dome 2 with this lantern and we'll do some side-by-sides and then we'll see the difference and we'll have a chat about it and see what you think. So usually I have the Light Dome Mini 2 just within arm's reach, maybe a little bit closer. Because it's a smaller softbox, you have to have it a little bit closer to your face to get softer shadows. They are quite harsh. I do prefer the larger um, Aperture Light Dome 2, but this is just such a space saver and it's easier in a small room like this to set this one up and move it around and you can get in different positions a little bit easier with this one. So I've been using this one a little bit more recently. So I'm having to have it quite close. So when I put on this lantern, because of the size of it, it's gonna stick out a bit more. As you can see in the example, it was right up close to my face. I had to move the microphone. So that's something you have gotta be mindful of. It's a bit bigger, so if you haven't got the space, maybe the mini is more for you. However, you don't have to have it so close because the light is so soft and it's bouncing in more directions. It's really soft, so you can have it a little bit further away if you like. If you've got a corner that you don't use in your room, put it in that corner and it will still make the shadows on you nice and soft. I'm really, really impressed with this. The brand is Laufas, I think that's how you say it. $59.99. I'm gonna leave a link in the description so you can see on Amazon. It's so, so soft. It's absolute bargain, I think. I'm definitely gonna be using this. Now, the main difference is, and what I've never liked with these directional softboxes is, the shadows you get in the corners of the room. As you can see, here look. Oh, the microphone's in the way. Still in the way. Anyway, you can see the shadows in the corner of the room. And that's something, shall I put the camera back to where it was? And that's something that's always bugged me because I get a lot of grain in these shadows, especially when you're filming in 8-bit. So yeah, this, sort of replicates the natural outdoor light because it's bouncing off more of the walls and it's going in more directions so you're getting a super soft light it's filling in those shadows however if you do want 
like a more directional light and you just want to light what's in front of you and you want the background to be a little bit darker and you want that separation and this probably isn't the one for you I'm gonna use this for sure because I'm really impressed with it I'm extremely surprised with how soft the light is I'm, I'm impressed remind me to get a thumbnail for this because I always forget let me know what you think. Which do you prefer? Do you like that natural look where you've got light everywhere? Or do you like the more directional light of the softbox light dome type softboxes? Um, which do you prefer? Let me know in the comments below. Before I go though, got a few announcements. So the website is almost done. It's, it's to a point where it's live. So I'll leave a link below. It's sam-holland.com and I've got my LUTs on there. There's more to come as well. I'm working on them. I've also got the audio pre pre -shets, <laughs> presets that I'm using right now. I use them on every single video and they're so helpful. You just drag and drop the presets, whichever one suits you the best. So I've got presets for Rode microphones, phones, GoPro, podcast type microphones. So whatever you're using, there's a preset for it. Male and female voices. There's two types of compression, a light and a strong. So whatever you want, drag and drop them on and your audio sorted. So have a look at those. A couple more bits come in. And I've got some really exciting videos come in. Favorite stuff yet. I can't, I can't tell you what these are but I really want to. It shouldn't be long, it shouldn't be long. So um, that's one. And then this one, I'm even more excited about. <laughs> Can't wait. It's gonna be a blast. So stay tuned for plenty more videos coming soon. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more gear reviews, tutorials, and vlogs as well, because there's more of that coming. I'm also on Instagram. If you head over there, you'll see behind the scenes announcements and bloopers. I'm gonna try and bring the bloopers back every now and then. So head over to the account and I'll see you there. And that's it for this one. Thanks for watching. Have a great week and I'll see you in the next one. Thumbnail. Thumbnail. Anyone else got one of these? I bet 90% of people watching have got one of these. It's a lens thermos, so you can have hot drinks or cold drinks. Anyway, just pour myself a bullet coffee. If you don't know what a bullet coffee is, Google it now, amazing. Anyway, poured it in and I heard this big crack and it's split the plastic there, look. So I'm a bit sad about that. It was a gift. <laughs>